Amid the raging crisis rocking the Edo State chapter of the All Progressive Congress APC over the mood of primary to be used in the conduct of its June 22 governorship primaries, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has said it will only honor the mood of primary submitted to it by the national chairman of the party. The INEC National Commissioner and Chairman Information and Voter Education Committee, Festus Okoye, said the Commission's rules, regulations and laws allowed it to only relate to the national chairman and national secretary of political parties. He stressed that regardless of what was happening in the state branches of the parties, the Commission would relate with the national chairman of the party, Adam Soshamale, who has insisted that the party would use direct primary to select its candidate. Joining us now is former Speaker of the Edo State House of Assembly, Thomas Okosun. Thank you very much, sir, for your time. My pleasure to be with you. All right. Uh, with INEC recognizing uh, the national chairman and secretary um, of the party for correspondence, does this settle the direction of the party relating to uh, the primary mood for uh, your primaries? I think uh, one thing is very clear that uh, most people do not understand that a political party is just one. Whether they have branches in the states, local government, or the world, it's immaterial to INEC because there's only one certificate of registration issued to a political party. So it is the responsibility of uh, that political party to establish branches at the state levels and other. So communication between INEC and a political party is usually with the headquarters and of course its elected uh, officers, which is the national chairman and the secretary. So when a state chapter chairman or secretary decides to uh, as, uh, take responsibility that is not confirmed either by the constitution or the party constitution or even INEC regulations, such actions are not acceptable. And therefore, the, the INEC have stated its own uh, position clearly as, as, by, as enshrined by the constitution and the law that it is the state national chairman and the secretary that he can relate with. And so that settles it. Obvious bickering between the national chairman and the state, the current state governor. Uh, with that in mind, and the factions that we have, uh, both at the state and the national level, how ready do you think your party is for the party is for the primary uh, primaries to be conducted on June 22? I think it's absolutely clear. The, the national uh, working committee have uh, taken a position. They have written to INEC as required by law that will be conducting the primaries to the governorship election in Edo State on the 22nd. As to the actions of the state governor, it is just like a student dictating to his lecturer the, the kind of question that is set for him. No student tells a lecturer, please set this kind of questions for me. In this governorship election, the, the governor is not recognized as a governor, but as an aspirant, just like other co-aspirants. So he cannot and have no right to detect to the national leadership of the party the mode of primary that he wants. No, because if he does, it means we have given him a privileged position or preference as against the other uh, aspirants. In political activities, he must provide a level playing field for everybody to aspire and uh, to contest so that without any bias or preferences for any particular individual. Uh, and that is what the APC is doing. Okay, there is a precedence uh, in Zamfara and Rivers where your party lost out because of internal wranglings like this. Hasn't your party yet learned its lesson uh, so that they don't give way to the opposition um, easily? You people seem so. You are, you are supposed to be a media house. You must be able to distinguish between what happened in Zamfara and, and Rivers as, as, and, uh, and the, what is about to happen in those states. In it Zanfara, still had, it was, was internal that, wrangling that got to the point where they had to go to yes, court and issues like that. It's normal. It's like a husband and wife. People disagree at home. It doesn't matter. And that is reality. If you don't uh, disagree, it means we are going to have an institution that is led by fools. You must have, a, you must have altercations. You must have disagreement. But follow the rules. There are, that's why laws are made. So the first issue as to who has the right to decide what kind of primary to be conducted is written in our constitution. Section 13, Article 13, 4, uh, uh, 14 makes it clear 
that the National Working Committee shall decide the mode of primary. And it has decided that. So how can the governor or an aspirant wake up and say, this is the mode I want to follow? Uh, you, 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 don't, yeah, don't you, 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 well, you were blaming the media, sir, but you still didn't respond to the question. There's been issues. It might not be exactly the same thing, but there are internal wranglings that cost some of the loss for the party in previous elections. The question remains is, has there been any lessons learned? And how are you going to ensure that those lessons are not lost this time as Edo State goes for primaries? OK, that is why you can see the party itself has made it abundantly clear. I'm reaching to INEC, and they are following according to their timetable, both by the INEC and by the party, and following the rules so that they can't be in, they can't be in breach of their own rules. Because if the party violates its own constitutional rules, then it can be blamed. And that's what he's trying to avoid, so that no candidate detects to, or an aspirant, please, let me use the word aspirant, detect to the party the way to go. So that is the situation. Okay, so let's get there. Already. I can assure you that the party have learned is wiser and better for it and do not want to avoid all those kind of loopholes. Okay. We know where the governor wants to drag the party to, but uh, the party is not uh, stupid to allow such a thing to happen anymore. Okay, I asked this question earlier of um, Ansela Majeswa when we had him on the news, and I'm going to ask you the same question. Um, do you expect any sort of um, disquiet during these primaries, or are you very optimistic that the internal peace mechanism in your party will ensure that the primaries go as peacefully as possible? Of course, there's nothing that will stop the party primaries from voting on the 22nd. We are aware that the governor, because he's an interested party, wanting to be imposed on the, lead, on the entire membership of the party as a sole candidate, is doing everything to truncate it. But we are not going to allow him to do that. Because the people, don't forget that the governor was elected for four years. He was given a mandate by the party for four years and saying that if you behave well, we might re-elect you. And he still stands a chance, but let him contest, submit himself to the rules of the party. Or right. if you fail to remove, uh, follow the rules of the party, there is also party machinery for handling such situations. All right. Thank you very much um, for speaking to us and sharing your thoughts on the matter. It's appreciated. My pleasure.